And this morning, we are continuing to get your answers about the COVID-19 uh, crisis from the experts. Again, we are being joined by Dr. Ben Springate, who has become a regular on our program. He's the Chief of Community and Population Medicine at LSU Health Sciences Center. And uh, Dr. Springate, for anybody who watched the news last night, you see the situation going on in other big cities, especially New York. It is so dire, doctors, nurses, health professionals, all scared in many cases to go to work. They're, the hospitals are being over, overfilled with people. Is that what we're gonna have here, possibly? Uh, it's a good question, Eric. Um, we know from the governor's uh, projections and the projections of our leaders um, here in our region that we do anticipate that we're going to have a very high numbers of patients. His projections, I believe he stated, um, were that we're going to have um, more patients than we will have ventilators, uh, who, and that will be effective as, as soon as April 5th if the current numbers hold up, so that's only a few days away. Um, and he also stated yesterday that um, our number of hospital beds in our region um, here in New Orleans and Metairie area will be exceeded uh, by April 12th, according to the current projections. And also, we just said on, on the news that a, a number of masks and more ventilators are on the way. Is it enough? I mean, there was a couple of the doctors, there were a couple of doctors up in New York saying that, that all the doctors in their hospital were wearing the same gear for the whole day, not cleaning it or changing it between patients. Right. We, we are hopeful that we're going to continue to get adequate supplies of this um, critically important PPE, which saves lives. Uh, we have to you know, continue to try to work through the supply chains, continue to make requests of the federal government stockpile, which is what the governor's offices are managing. And I know that our um, leaders uh, at each of the healthcare systems are working very diligently on this. Um, so we, we are at risk of running low, that's definitely true, um, and they're trying to conserve to the extent possible. Um, but this is gonna be a, a critical challenge if we do not continue yeah. to receive more and more. All right, let me get one quick viewer question in. Should people with long nails or false nails consider trimming or removing them to keep their hands clean? Only if uh, the long nails prevent you somehow from effectively washing your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or disinfecting. Um, in general, this is not gonna be transmitted through nails, but rather by droplets from breathing or being in close proximity to someone else who coughs or sneezes. All right, Dr. Springate, we'll be back with uh, Dr. Springate in a little while. If you have more questions about the coronavirus, you can text us a question at 504-529-4444.